kitchen with Lady Dawn Russell, who is giving our seasonal fruit the royal treatment. Should I curtsy? <laughs> no, very warm and delicious cobbler. It's from her new book, The 8G Cookbook. Welcome to our home. Yeah, oh, we love you. Yeah. So you have, you have just built an incredible empire, a sort of nutrition empire, but this wasn't always the case. When you were 25 years old, mm -hmm. you were very ill. You were not writing books. You were ready to write your will. What happened? So when I was 25, yes, I was diagnosed with um, a very serious cancer, and what turned was I got a bone infection and couldn't do chemo or radiation. And so for four years, I traveled around the world trying to find alternative treatments ended up back in my little apartment in the West Village of New York, just going back to the basics of food. And so um, greens were the first thing that stayed in me and slowly brought me back to life. So my story obviously was extreme. I did a lot of IVs of the greens, but what I really learned was the power of greens. So, and were um, the doctors telling you that at the time as half well? Half the doctors thought I was crazy. Um, <laughs> the other half, I mean, this was, I'm 43 now, so this was many years ago. The one thing that I thought was great, my surgeon, um, who came to my wedding, were very close, he uh, called me the cookie woman because I have such a sweet tooth and I feel like people think because I created a green product and you know do all these health things that I am going to be this beacon of health. No, I like everyone else. <laughs> you massive, like cookies too. Sweet tooth. Yay. So um, at one of the gazillion medical centers I went to um, around the world for those years, a nurse gave me this fruit cobbler. Really? Yeah, yeah, and it was great because I not only was able to do the fruit cobbler, but then we add the greens, and it doesn't alter the taste. So you've got this really good. There are greens in here. There are greens. greens. Okay, yeah, well, explain yeah. that. Yeah. Explain this, John. <laughs> so the, a product that you created, it's called. Get out. It's called eight, eight greens. greens. Eight yeah, greens. eight G. Eight greens. There are eight greens: spirulina, kale. You're having wheatgrass. You're having barley what? grass. Right, right now. Right, right here. Now. Look at this. Can so you take a shot of that? you dilute this is it. Amazing. That's it. You can drink it. It's a powder. Or it's an effervescent tablet. You know, like an Alka Seltzer, yeah. airborne. Okay. So easy. You put it in water. 99% of the world can drink it. What? <laughs> this is the cause I might like, uh, Or yes. put it in any liquid. And that's all the amount I need right there? For the for, day. For a serving or? Yeah, I mean, if you, so with the tablet, you would put it in like a four, yeah. eight ounce glass of water yes. and drink it. Like I put it in a sparkling water bottle, drink mm -hmm. it on my way to take my children to school every morning. And it's great because you've had, I mean, the equivalencies, it's like, 15 cups of spinach are in there. Wow. I mean, now who's going to ever eat 15 cups of spinach in one day? It's so it should have some pretty well, amazing well nutrients. Okay, okay. So it's going to take me about five started. seconds to finish this because this is really good. Let's Thank get started you. with the cobbler. So we have um, apples and pears, but truly you can use any fruit. And then we have. Um, Coconut sugar? Yeah, we're gonna start with the eight greens. Okay. So truly, yeah, with an eight green, if you have a liquid, you can put it in a recipe and you've added all that. Right. Then here we have the coconut sugar. Why coconut sugar? We're already sugar. planning on how to get it. We're plotting our, with our children's yeah. diets now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Oh, that's, get everything. See, that makes me so happy. It's the reason I did it. There's no sugar in this. Zero. That's why it took me five years. Right. Wow. Um, <laughs> So you oh, wow. add coconut sugar in um, the Eight Greens cookbook. It breaks down the six sugar substitutes. Because listen, I did not want to do a cookbook. Like I wanted to make this as easy as possible right. for anyone. So it's the six sugar substitutes from prune syrup to maple syrup, stevia liquid, when to use it, why, done, move on. Beautiful, love it. So And here, then cinnamon, of course. Cinnamon, yeah. Which is so good for you. So you're gonna stir this up and we're gonna put this aside. And this is kind of the base. So of that's the cobbler part. Yeah. Or that's the filling, rather. Mm. And I love mango, and Ooh. because of the juice. I mean, I'm, I'm like really rest, confused. You here. know what? I'm gonna, <laughs> here, I'm gonna move. Coconut sugar. There's no real sugar in here. There's there, no none. You're it's tasting so the sweetness of the fruit. Now here we have um, flour, and what I want to say about flour is, it's just like a no-brainer. Get gluten-free flour. I mean, it's mm -hmm. literally just next to you in the in the supermarket. Get gluten-free. They don't hide it. No. Oh, they don't. <laughs> in this town, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> um, Coconut, which we all love. And that was just regular oats that you put in yes, there? Yes, yeah. Okay. That is a half cup of butter. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. Now, this bit I want to talk to you about for a minute. It is, this is Manuka honey. I know it's quite expensive, but it is so worthy because the bioactive ingredients are off the chart. And on one of my journeys to Brazil, actually, a surgeon said, give 
yourself and your family, a teaspoon of Manuka honey every morning, and it's amazing not only for our vanity of skin and wounds and da da da, but for immunity and for your colds and flus. Oh it's, my goodness, really? And I swear, my four-year-old never gets sick, and all the moms at nursery school are like, why is your son right. not sick? Because every I child in nursery school yeah. is sick. Put it on the list. But I it's mean, the manure honey. I'm not really? kidding you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going, I just want to go on record and saying, just so you know, you are going to be officially stocked. <laughs> so just like we're all going to officially yeah. stock you all yeah. everything you we do. We just looked at each other and we're like, I'm obsessed when, uh, with her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really sweet of you. So the, I don't live in America. <laughs> don't don't worry. Worry. We will find you. That's the social media. We'll go oh, okay. to. We don't need to stalk you, really. We, we can stalk, stalk you. Stalk you. <laughs> we mean move in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Oh, so okay. maybe that's also the, the honey is quite sweet. So that's maybe where some of the sweetness is coming from, correct? Yes, and the coconut. And the great part is... Oh, we was very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. So... The, the fruits, what's nice is when you bake the fruits, the juice mm -hmm. is just so yummy. Oh my goodness, it's good just like that. Live. I know. Okay, so we pop that in the oven for how long? 350 for wow. 15 minutes, but I would do, I always do a little bit more. Oh, look at that. I would do like 20 oh. minutes. <laughs> because you wanna have the top a little bit crispy, and then voila. Well, I mean, honestly, I know that you're you're not a big fan of sugar, so we wouldn't serve this with ice cream on top. Well, as I was telling you, <laughs> reality is reality, yeah. you know? Could you put the, the honey in, like, a, a coffee or something like that, to sweeten coffee? Oh, I wouldn't. Done? I don't think it would taste very good. I think it That's would. That's interesting. I've done the honey. My mother-in-law uses maple syrup. With coffee, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She uses maple syrup to do it. It's wonderful. Yeah. You know what? I'd love to show I our... Hot lemon and... and... Yeah. That's that nice, too. too. I'd love to yeah. show our audience your beautiful cookbook, because it's not just this amazing cobbler. Thank you. You have mm. so many other wonderful recipes in there. First of all, the cover is gorgeous. Mm. Thank you so much. What is that we're looking at? So that's my little son, um, Leo. And we're looking at the zucchini soup, because I was like, what child likes zucchini? Um, and he likes it. He loves it. So Nanny Jenny is our nanny um, from long ago. She's the maternity nanny of the boys. And if you can just go back once. No, you can't go back. Well, she um, made a lovely salmon, I know. Yeah, and basically you just put the liquid on top of the salmon. And when you marinate it, all of the eight greens goes into the salmon. Oh, and you nice. don't even taste the difference. And that last so bit last we were just one, looking at were, were Gwyneth's fish fingers. Gwyneth and I... These fish Gwyneth, fingers. Uh, by the way, she means Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, not everybody just calls her Gwyneth. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. So, um, so our kids love there this, and what you do is you, um, it's really fun to make with your kids, by the way, because you put the, um, you, you lay the fish on the like batter type thing where you rub it. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing at all a good explanation of it, and it's really fun for with your kids. So. Um, what am I trying to say? Flour. <laughs> the flour. The, the, it's the batter. It's right. right. the, the batter. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, batter. batter. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, my four-year-old can do it. So, um, and our kids inhale them. And what I love about kids is they do not lie. So this is yeah. absolutely yeah. So they true. like him. Anyone does. I know we don't lie around here either. And Ever. This, is, I can this tell. is fantastic. Yeah, this, this is, is delicious. absolutely fantastic. Thank you, By the way, Thank you. if you'd like to pick, check out the the eggreens.com website, you'll get a lot more information. I love it. The more you know, you make better choices about what you're putting in your body, what you're feeding your family, and what. On the and table. you don't even notice you're doing it. I didn't even right. right. If no you joke. don't do this, you really lose. Right. I know Recipe. that I want more. I want to see <laughs> Recipes more. available, hallmarkchannel.com, that That's and it? so very much more. Oh, we come fine. back right now, the man begging is going to be talking. That's you, Ken. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I am seriously so obsessed with you. Uh, yes, um, come on back. We're going to make vintage letter art for your walls. <laughs>